Uh, cool. So uh, you guys are in, you're in your group projects. Um, and can you talk about, so the group project is like the part of the curriculum where we kind of let you guys go and like build this thing. Here are your requirements. Here are the things we need you to do, but we want you to kind of take the lead on that. Can you talk about maybe the like virtual experience of that? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting. So I, I've worked virtual on stuff like this before, but I've never done it where we have to collaborate so closely on this. Um, we've figured out some really cool ways of going about it where it's like, okay, so we have the classroom. Normally we'd be sitting there, we have like pair programming or we'd have, you know, mob programming, which everyone's huddled around one computer. We're figuring things out. Maybe somebody's on their side laptop with this. We all have our own individual computers, but we'll do something where it's like, for instance, in our group, we're actually all in the same group right now. And one of us will be driving while the rest of us are navigating, looking up issues, trying to figure it out. Uh, if there's a problem that we're running into, the rest of us will be navigating. We kind of trade off from there. We go to like, okay, for the first 30 minutes to 40 minutes, maybe uh, one of us will drive and do most of the coding while listening to everybody else and making sure that we're, you know, staying on track. And then we hand it off to somebody else. And we found ways of doing that where either each one of us is making sure that we're doing our Git flow really well. Uh, in fact, we are doing that where we all have the exact same files on our computer. You know, one of us finishes driving, we send it up to Git, the other one pulls it down, right? So that's- Every hour we essentially have a nice solid, hey, let's Git pull this, make sure right. we're all on the same page at all times. Exactly. And then there's another way that we found that we do it too, which Zoom actually has this built into it. You're able to take control of somebody else's computer. So it's just like being in the classroom where it's like, okay, I'm just handing the keyboard off. It's still the same computer, but I'm going to hand the keyboard off to you. You take care of this part. I'm going to start navigating on my side computer or my other screen that I have. Um, so that's been really, really cool and really helpful. Um, there's been some snags here and there, but like once you get that figured out, that like that actual routine down, especially GitFlow, you, you really don't run into many issues whatsoever. It's just like in the classroom. It's been pretty solid for us in my experience so far. I, I can't really speak for the other people in the cohort, how they're doing, but for us, it's been awesome, actually. Yeah. yeah, I think that that's a really interesting point that I hadn't really thought about, that when we would do the group projects in person, that we would often end up with more conflicts, merge conflicts, because people aren't doing what you guys are doing, <laughs> because you have to, um, because you're not necessarily like in the same room. Um, that's really interesting. I hadn't, I hadn't thought of it from that perspective. We're definitely also flexing the group collaboration tools tremendously as well, as all as always. Um, you know, we're 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 using Trello for sure to kind of manage our kind of agile workflow, which we had a incredible kind of uh, almost two hour long conversation with Adam Cuppy about agile workflow, and we're implementing that uh, to a T with our Trello boards. And, um, you know, in addition, maybe if you were in person, you'd be drawing kind of wireframes on a piece of paper. Um, but we are using, um, you know, an online, online program called Figma to develop our wireframes and edit those as we, as we pivot those as, as things evolve. So, you know, there's so many resources out there online that sometimes you get to use, sometimes you don't get to use, but now we truly need to use them and, and master them, um, which has been a real added bonus. Cool. I agree. We've just been able to find a lot more collaborative technologies to use. Like Figma, for example, that's awesome for the fact that like you can have everyone on one screen, but it only allows two editors, but then you can comment as you're like a viewer essentially of like everything that's live. So as the wireframe's going up live, you talk about something, you're like over here and you like move your mouse to like, Hey, this is where I'm looking at. It's kind of cool. That's awesome. 